what's up my crazy subscriber this is Joking Johnson 4 here bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team and welcome to game number 7 of season 3 now a little bit of a spoiler guys I like to spoil sometimes you know some of you guys uh, before the game even starts um, for the third time in a row we get our running attack going the run game is just strong with us right now the freaking freaking Doug Martin and Marshall Lynch are just hell of pickups man these guys made over 40 plus yards together actually not together separate though separate not to combine that combine I'll say they made more than 100 yards <laughs> so you can already tell how much you know they're, they're going for already here like 40 yards on one or maybe 50 yards on one and 40 on the other like yeah they made more than 100 yards to combine together so my offense is just a hell of a freaking power right now. They're a powerhouse. Then that's what I wanted since season one. So it's happening, guys. It's happening. Every single player that I picked up from those 300,000 coins that I earned, it's working so far. So and I'm telling you guys right now, I'll give you guys a tip. Race up that skill. Whatever you are on right now, speed run, ground and pound, race it up all the way to 99, and you should be able to get you know, a hell of a time on offense. So anyways, on my opponent's team, BAM! Got knocked the fuck out by Ahmad Brooks. Dante Winner scoops up the fumble, takes it all the way for a fucking touchdown. Amazing play by my defense. And what I want to talk about my opponent, guys, the only player who stood out on, on this team was Russell Wilson. I believe that's Russell Wilson number three. I mean, he's the only number three guy on the whole NFL, I believe, as a quarterback. So... One of the things I would like to say, I think he has over 90 overall, I believe. I'm not sure. If he doesn't, well, he's close to 90 because, you know, he's a hell of a quarterback. So, um, he does have high speed. And the thing that I did, guys, is that I had to contain my defensive ends. If not, this guy was going to go away with Russell Wilson. And Mike Adams kind of missed up a tackle right there. I'm like, what the hell, Mike Adams? Come on, man. Wake up. Got to wake up right there. Another thing that I noticed about my defense, guys, Levante David ain't reacting that well. I'm already starting to regret him behind Levante David. He ain't getting them tackles. He ain't. I told you guys he was going to have trouble getting away from the blockers. I told you guys he doesn't have a lot of power moves or finesse moves. This guy has a lot of tackling, a lot of play recognition, but no finesse moves or power moves. So this guy, once he gets blocked, he's going to be done for the rest of the play. So that's one thing that sucks about him. Now, I don't know if I should actually replace him for Anthony Barr because Anthony Barr does have a lot of finesse moves and power moves. So. I might think of replacing him with Anthony Barr. Anyways, that's my you know defensive worries right there. Just my right outside linebacker yet again for the second game in a row that pretty much misses up. Back in offense, pretty much still doing my thing. Jerry Macklin makes an appearance since season one. That guy has a legend player down here in my team. I mean, seriously, he was hell of a player in season one. You might want to go back into my old videos of season one and just watch it how Jeremy Macklin breaks several tackles and does a lot of jukes I mean he did a hell of a job in offense when he was a starter he was a hell of a pickup you're barely starting man ultimate team right now pick up Jeremy Macklin he's a hell of a pickup so anyways more runs more yards just watch this my whole line just doing a hell of a job I want to see who who this guy had and right there I understand why he went field goal block but with a little bit of hatback misdirection, I took it all the way with Doug Martin. What the fuck? <laughs> so everything was happening for me on offense. Back on defense, still doing those short passes. Haloti Nada almost got him there for a sack. Luke Kuechly pops the shit out of this guy. And I knew right there he was going to go for that third string court receiver. Like later on, he's going to do it right now. Uh, Browner getting a nice tackle right there. Dante Winter missed a tackle against Darren Sproles. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, Dante Winter? Going man to man for the first time ever, Carl Harris Jr. intercepts the ball, pretty much puts the dagger on the game. 21 to 7, he ain't gained that far, man. So look at that nice pass to Jason Mars. That's what that's what should have happened in the first quarter when I ended up going into like a three and out. I understand why Tannehill overthrew it, maybe because I pressed it too early. And again with a field goal block, just throw it to Demarius Thomas. Touchdown, 28 to 7. Pretty much of a done deal, but this guy just wants to play the ball. I know he wants just to want. I, th I think he's just doing this for fun, so that's good. I respect the guy, you know. I believe he's just doing this for, this for fun. So, you know, good job, man. But you know, you gotta do a little bit more variety than just passing and trying to scramble Russell Wilson because it ain't happening. I mean, look at this. 
We got you on lockdown. My DT is trying to follow you over there. His fat ass, you know, all his blobness is just... God damn, he's trying his best, man. Containing my defensive ends again. Brian Robinson, a 79 overall defensive end, still gets him. Unbelievable. I really need to sign Mario Williams as my backup. <laughs> Seriously, because I really want to have solid backups and solid starters at the same time. Because I don't want nobody to get tired. And then the backup to be all weak and shit. Like, you got to have your backups too, man. So that's the end of the game, guys. I ended up winning 28-7. Great win. Good time. Everything was just fun for me on offense. All the runs worked for me. And, you know, everything just went to, into according to plan. So... If you guys got any questions, if you guys got any, you know, favorite parts of the video, please let me know in the comment section. And also, you know, if you guys want any tips on Madden, just let me know in the comment section. I'll answer them and uh, hope try to help you out. That's my knowledge, you know. I'm sort of getting there into the pro levels, kind of. Well, I used to be a pro, but not anymore. But still, I'm kind of good. So anyways, a free tip, guys. Make sure you race up that skill. Whatever you you have right now, speed run, ground and pound, short passing, zone defense, run stop, you know, raise it up. Because it's going to profit you so bad. I mean, just watch this gameplay and see how my offense executed perfectly. It was a solid offense, man. Solid. Solid with Doug Martin and Marshall Lynch. And there's my stats. I'm going to start showing my stats at the end of the games now, so you guys can see how much I did. Unless they quit on me, so that's the only way I won't show it. So that's it for now, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys support the series, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, there's going to be more games coming up, guys.